Welcome, folks. I'm Chabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? We're looking at how the past two years have felt from Ryan George. Thank you, Ryan George, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciated. Y'all, if you haven't already, subscribed to Ryan George. There's a link in the description below. You can click on that link in the original and upload. Subscribe to him from there. Tell him Jabby sent you. And also subscribe here. Please bell icon, all notifications. And pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump into this. How the past two years have felt. So, yeah, I mean, that sounds really good to me if you want to lock it in. Sure. Yeah. And actually, you know, that aligns perfectly with the two of you. So that's great. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, let's make it happen. So I guess just in terms of, you know, like next concrete moves. Uh. Uh, uh, hi. Hi. Sorry, we're just in the middle of something here. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Should we be worried about that? I love that, that? there's two uh, in the same frame. I'm going to say no. Um, okay, so then let's just <laughs> move forward with that together and... Uh, sorry, he's tuning a guitar over there. Uh, sorry, can you not tune that guitar with intent, please? I'm actually untuning it. I make things worse. That's my thing. Okay, well, please don't do anything. <laughs> We're trying to get some stuff done over here. Maybe he'll go away? I gotta say, I'm starting to feel a little iffy. Okay, it might not uh. be that bad. Okay, let's not panic. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, this doesn't seem too bad. Maybe we can just work through this. Mama! Okay, that sounds really bad. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, maybe, maybe we... Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go. Ah, okay, but like temporarily, right? Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Man, I think we're gonna go too, to be honest. This is not sounding good. Really? Sorry. Ah, uh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> that was almost something. That was almost something. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I wish I had a flute. Oh! <laughs> He's going away. The ghost is clear. Hopes and dreams and plans. Hey guys, come I think back. it's getting better. Hey, 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 it's like, Hope. <laughs> it's not that bad anymore, right? I, yeah, it's okay. It's not that bad anymore. You lost weight, by the way. I did, I did. I feel <laughs> like not too bad about this. Yeah. Holy mo- hey, 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 should we get plans back in here? I mean, yeah, <laughs> let's get them in here, right? Hey, plans. Hey, I think I'm back. Yeah. I I kind of think I am. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. So so let's get back into what we were talking about, right? Let's, uh, wait, it's getting louder. Oh God, he's coming uh, back. Oh God. I'm out. No plans. Oh, plans. Yeah, I think I'm going to head out too. Don't you dare. <laughs> God damn. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Um, uh, well, yeah. That's too real. I know. I think we all feel that, you know, where it's like, yeah, I can't believe it's been two years, really. There's right. a lot of death and breakups. <laughs> like, I've heard of so much just like things falling apart, but Con you know, also, also babies have been made. That's what I was about to say. Conversely, there's been a lot of COVID babies. People are like, well, what do we do when we can only stay indoors? And I'm looking at your face all day. Make babies that have to wear masks. Yep. So that's what you can do. That's what you can do. Make actually, babies the, the, that actually, can the, never the, go outside. The, exactly. The babies don't actually have to wear masks. The babies are the ones that are allowed anywhere, actually. Everywhere I go, babies are just walking around without masks on. Yeah, no one's asking them for a vaccination card. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. If you're under two, you're okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? The production of this was really cool. It's not that often that we see him in like that kind of setting. Yeah. I don't know if that was his uh, apartment or whatever. I think it was, yeah. You pointed out that there was two of them in the same shot and he was using that technique of having the camera feel like it's moving, mm -hmm. which gives it that sense of being real. And I like it a lot because I forgot that he was employing that technique, which he does in post. It's just really cool what you can do nowadays because I couldn't even tell that there was like any effect at all, if that makes any sense. It literally felt like all four of these people were talking. To, he especially made it work because of the sound layering. Yeah. You know, because that music was, well, if you want to call it that, was constant <laughs> throughout the entire video once it started. It yeah. never went, it never actually went away. And he's layering the voices on top of each other, which further gives it that sense of multiple people in the room. Yeah. Great, you know? Yeah, totally. Oh man, though. 
It's very effective at communicating the point, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty obvious what direction this is going to go, but it was like a cute little comedic rendition of what it feels like. Because we're always so optimistic at the end of the year, at the beginning of the new year, you know, like this. Not anymore. No. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, it's like, you know, people, people were getting excited. I just recently went back to visit my family and I thought like, oh yeah, 2022, I'm going to be able to see them more again things are starting to feel normal and then boom omicron the thing about it is i saw this in some vox video not that long ago i think it was vox because i watch a lot of stuff on youtube from everybody yeah you know not just the left i try to watch as much as possible and vox is considered more left-leaning right mm -hmm. the point of the video was that until we are distributing these vaccines globally universally we're going to keep getting new threats new variants that are popping up. And, That's and true. Until we all collectively do this together and make sure everybody's taken care of at the same time, it's just gonna keep happening over and over again. At least that's what Vox was saying. This is me not being a doctor, a scientist, or a st statistician. Seems to make sense to me though. Yeah, this is it. <sighs> this is it. I did think a lot about some other YouTube video I saw. Like I've been thinking about it the past several days because like, you know, I go to 24 hour fitness and people have the mask like this, or like this, or like this, or it's not even there. It's like a magic trick. It disappears <laughs> after they walk in, right? Every now and then, whenever I like take my mask down, I always hear the pe it's, I feel like it's timed to me. So I feel like someone's always got their eye on me for some random reason. And it's just a coincidence, yeah. probably. But they're always like, uh, just a friendly reminder, please put your mask on all the way over your nose. And I'm like, fucking guy. <laughs> but my point is that uh, there was a plague in Italy many, 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 many years ago. The Black Plague, perhaps? Bubonic oh. Plague? Whatever it was, there was the this video on YouTube that was saying that eventually you hit this point of just acceptance of the situation to the point that you just don't care anymore. And people were going outside and just partying in the streets anyway, in spite of the fact that there was a pandemic. People were going outside and partying and having a good time and people were dying in the streets, but they're just doing it anyway because they're like, look, we can't Yolo. do anything about this. Exactly. You only live once. You can't do anything about this. Might as well just live it up. And I feel like we are about to hit that point any minute now because like, I think Omicron might be the last straw that a lot of us can take. And you can't shut down businesses again. You just can't. Right. And I think we're going to reach the point where it's just like, we just can't deal with this anymore. We're just going to go outside and say, fuck it all and just live our lives and hope for the best. Sure. I, I think we're about ready to hit that point because it's starting to feel like March 2020 all over again with the way everybody, well, people in my circle, especially my brother, like everyone's freaking out a little bit, like, oh my God, it's the, vi this. but it's all ebb and flow, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like my mind's going in a lot of different directions. I'm rambling at this point. I enjoyed the video. I thought it was a lot of fun and I, it did a really good job of conveying the feelings that we're all collectively feeling. Yeah. Whether you are someone who is vaccinated or not, whether you are pro-vax or anti-vax, whatever your stance is, like, you feel this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because it's, yeah, it's literally just like, you start making plans, you're hopeful for the future, and then all of a sudden everything is shutting down and you're just like, no, yeah, I was, come back. I was, uh, I had some big travel plans I wanted to do in the coming months, and like, now I'm like, well, I guess that's out the window again. Yeah. And, and you know, another straight year of that again. So. Anyway, here's hoping that we all just say, screw it. <laughs> Hold on to hope. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of sucky that hope disappeared. I feel like hope should have been the last one to leave. One of the best <laughs> lines in this sketch was, oh, you lost weight. <laughs> it's like, that's what lost weight, not our bodies, but hope. So hey, anyways. Some people lost weight. I feel like there were two camps during the, the lockdown pandemic. It was either people lost weight and they became the fittest they've ever been, those or people, they weight. those people who became the fittest they've ever been, had oh, like a lot of money to begin with and a nice house. Because of course you you were able to lose weight and and be the fittest you ever were. You have like space to do that stuff. I did my best with the space I have, but it's like there's only so much space in this apartment with which to execute these things. It's not a gym. You know what I mean? You can only do so much. I just ate my feelings. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Here's to push-ups and. <laughs> Sit ups in the event that the gyms don't allow us in anymore. I want that prison body. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all be good. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.